Well, hello everyone, this is uh, the DOS Scholar, and I'll be playing through a mission of F-117 Stealth Fighter 2.0 here. Now this game is, I think, almost 20 years old at this point, released in 1991 by Microprose. And uh, it was a fairly revolutionary game for its time, even though it was based on the older F-19 uh, stealth fighter game. It was the one of the first modern flight simulators for uh, PC fl platform. It had 256 colors, it was amazing to look at. Had a 150 page manual that you really had to read, at least to some extent, in order to be successful at all. So what I'm going to try and do is just fly through a mission, um, just just show you how it's how it's done, and hopefully inspire some players to uh, try it themselves. Alright, so here we are at the squad bulletin board, and we can choose any pilot that's active. And so from here we can go and choose our theater. I think I'm going to go with the North Cape. And from here you want to go to the briefing room to check out your briefing, your mission briefing. Alright, so here's a challenging mission. We hit our primary target, which is a uh, cargo ship, I think. And then the secondary target is a Russian aircraft carrier. Um, which is going to be a bitch. All right, so we're going to go ahead and select weapons. Okay, so let's go and take off. Cleared for takeoff. Um, and before I take off, I'm just going to run through the basic uh, concepts of of stealth fighter. Basically, what you want to do is, is is avoid conflict in combat as much as possible uh, to and from the targets um, because you don't have much of a an offensive capability compared to the the vast armies that you're arrayed against here. You really want to use your stealth to your advantage at any at all times, and to do that, um, you have to avoid radars and avoid planes. You have to know about the radars in the games. There's basically two types of radars in the games um, that you have to approach differently um, depending on which one it is. The, the the two radar types are pulse radar and Doppler radar. And if you look at the map there on the left MFD, you can see the black dots and red red dots. The black dots are ground radar installations. For the uh, pulse radars, the rings of dots, you want to aim your plane directly at them or away from them to present the smallest possible radar signature. And with the, the Doppler radars, the rings, the red rings, you want to fly around them basically or perpendicular to their origin point. Another important concept here on this, this dashboard is that blue bar below the map. That's your, your stealth meter, basically. And it shows on the right side a little red bar that represents your own um, radar profile, radar cross-section. And that will grow as you do things like gain speed or gain altitude or open your bomb bay. So with all that said, let's go ahead and take off. Let's uh, start our engines and bring our thrust up to 100 by pressing the plus key. And then when your airspeed reaches about 200, you want to gently pull back on the stick, lift off, raise your landing gear by pressing 6 key, and then bring your thrust back down to about 60. And also be careful not to get too high. You want to keep below about 600 feet. And you can see your altitude scale there on the right side of the HUD. That's the right side number there. Um, and your airspeed is on the left side of the HUD. You want to keep your airspeed below about 400 to be still, to, to remain stealthy in most situations. Um, and so now let's, we can start heading towards our first waypoint. Look at the top of the HUD there in that scrolling bar. You can see that little triangle, that little blue triangle. You want to line that up with the center of your HUD to, to line your aircraft up with your first waypoint, head towards your first target. I can just go over the, the basics of targeting and destroying enemy enemies in this game. To, to target any plane or ground unit, your HUD has three different 
modes that you can uh, change it to. You have navigation mode, air mode, and ground mode. And you can toggle between those modes by pressing F2 here. And I'm just going to keep it in air mode now because it looks like we've got planes ahead of us on that map. Um, and to target any um, unit in the game, you need to target it with the uh, target camera. And to bring that up, you press the uh, backslash key. And uh, you can uh, change it to any of the four directions by pressing the period key, the comma key, the M key for left, right, back, forward, whatever. And um, you can change your weapons. You're currently selected with weapons by pressing the space bar here. So let's change our weapon currently active to AMRAM, air to air missiles. I'm trying to figure out the best approach for our primary target. I think I'm going to aim for that uh, pulse radar, that black dot that's just to our east. Aim straight for that, so we're heading straight at it, presenting the smallest cross signature, and between those two um, Doppler radars on either side of it, so we'll sort of thread the needle that way. Okay, we've got a couple planes ahead of us that may cause us some trouble here. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad. And you change your map, the map to a, a more tactical view like this by pressing F3, and that shows you sort of more exact positions of enemy planes in your vicinity and also missiles and stuff. You can zoom it in and out with the Z and the X keys. It looks like they're going to be sort of swooping by me, thank goodness. So I'm going to change to ground mode now to get a better picture of ground HUD mode to get a better picture of where that radar is that I'm trying to avoid ahead of me. And I'm going to fly directly above that SAM radar. And it won't be able to see me because it's a pulse radar. And as long as you're heading straight at it or straight away from it, you're completely safe. And I can destroy it here, but that would draw all those planes to this area and um, they'd almost certainly find me. So for now I'm gonna let it go, just let it be. Here's a target view of me flying over. We're through the first picket as it were and heading towards our primary target. We have a couple planes behind us, a couple MiGs changing to air mode here on the HUD to see if I can pick up anything. Yes, okay, so we've got a flanker to our left, just kind of cruising around. And we've got that IL-76 still to our northwest. Uh, Flanker is getting pretty darn close, though. I may have to use my hand ramps. So close. Just barely avoided being detected if you look down at my, my radar gauge there. Alright. I think... Ah. Yeah, no, he's seen me now. He's coming towards me. I'm going to have to go ahead and engage him. So I'm going to turn to engage. There we go. Open bomb bay's door with the 8 key. Launch a missile. Close the bomb bay doors. Missile's heading towards him. Got him. So he's going down. But I'm also being, uh, I've also got some problems with that uh, IL-76 radar plane who has seen me just briefly. Ah. 
I've got to try and get out of here. I've got track radar now. They're trying to track me. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, escape to the east here before anything is launched at me. But um, check tactical view to see if there's any missiles heading to heading my way. No. So it's it's looking sort of okay. They know that, that somebody's here now though. So um, you can see those radars are now aimed in my direction searching for something but I'm thankfully just out of their range. Change my active weapon to harpoon. And I'm going to have to hit both of those targets one after the other fairly soon because um, you hit one and you start the hornet's nest. Thankfully harpoons can be targeted from about 60 kilometers out so I don't have to get too close to the carrier which has nasty radar and uh, air defenses. Alright, our cargo ship has just appeared on our targeting camera. And it's locked so I'm going to go ahead and open my bay and launch my missile. Press 8 to open the bay. Launch the missile. Close the bay. Harpoon is heading towards its target now. It's fired forget so. So there's our primary target. Harpoon missile heading towards its target. And hopefully we'll have the carrier locked up before that harpoon missile hits its primary target and uh, stirs up the, uh, the nastiness. Yeah, there we go. Alright, excellent. Primary target hit. And here we have our secondary target, the aircraft carrier. We're, um, change to harpoon. Launch a harpoon, close the bay. Now we have to get out of here as fast as possible. And which is our best exit route? I'm thinking I'm thinking it's going to be actually to our east. We're going to have to go east over that carrier, unfortunately. And head towards that eastern pulse radar, directly towards it. Possibly. All right. So we've target hit. We've hit it. We haven't sunk it, but we've hit it. We've got a Yak 38 ahead of us, a plane. So we're going to change to uh, air mode. Try and. That was the Yak-38 from the carrier, so we have to get rid of him. Got him. Alright. So we're still being tracked, though. we still got planes on the way. So... Heading straight for that Eastern Pulse radar. Alright, so there's that radar. I wish I had another... I uh, have a Maverick. Okay, so I'm going to get that... Radar with a Maverick here, get rid of it, um, and we'll just fly right over that and escape, hopefully, to the uh, south. Yeah, direct it. All right. So we're clear now. For this area is is, is pretty safe because we got rid of that radar. And just south of us, though, we've got a Doppler radar trying to get us, trying to pulse us. So we we'll have to watch out for that. This is going to be so freaking close. Out of fuel. Brakes. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Night 